everybody. Welcome to another episode of the K&C Show Let's Play Solo Series. I am your Let's Player, Blackwin. Ooh, good noise. And uh, the next Let's, uh, Let's Play Series that we're going to do is the Silver Case, developed by Grand uh, Grasshopper Manufacturer. So, what is the Silver Case? Uh, this, the Silver Case game is a adventure text visual novel game or a, yeah basically what I just said uh, a visual novel game that you play as uh, I guess like a detective pretty much I don't know that's kind of the concept I got when I picked up the game but it's like a detective thriller type of game so you know expect a lot of crime drama going on here but anyways this game was originally on the PlayStation back in 1999 and it was not released outside the US so we finally got like a re remastered version of it I believe remake remastered on the PlayStation 4 and uh, so I'm gonna showcase it to you guys this quirky game uh, made by Grasshopper manufacturer who if you guys know uh, the main director of the team is Suda51 he makes a lot of quirky games like no More Heroes, and uh, Let It Die, uh, which is the free-to-play game on the PlayStation 4, and also Killer7, which is like a cult classic game by Suda51, so, but yeah, you know, just gonna watch the intro here, it's, uh, yeah, I can't, you know, this is uh, pretty interesting, because this is, I'm not sure on the setting of the game, I, I believe it's in Japan, of course, but... I don't know if this is like a like one of those like futuristic cyberpunk games or not that involves detectives going hard boiled on each other and you know you know solving crimes and all that fun stuff. Anyways, uh, while we're letting the intro play, I'm gonna read what's on the back of the game case here, the little plot that we have. So, 1999, the 24 wards, a string of mysterious serial killings plague the city. Oh, there's a title screen. Anyways, uh, the detectives of the, of the 24 Ward's heinous crimes unit have their eye on one man, Kamui Urahara, if I said it correctly, a legendary serial killer and assassin of a number of government officials 20 years prior in the now famous Silver Case. However, nobody knows the true identity of Kam Kamui, if I said his name. Has he really returned? Who is this infamous serial killer? So that's uh, on the back of the case. But let's get this started up for you guys. Ooh, made by Unity. I didn't even see that. So, you know what? I'm going to go to the settings first. And... Oh, okay. So I can put it on Japanese or English. Uh, I'll put it on English. The music sounds great so far. Uh, off the settings, at least. I, I hope the rest of the music sounds really well. So, you got Japanese and you got English. I, I'm going for English, guys. <laughs> oh, okay. Who are you? Uh, oh, okay. So, I get to choose my name. I am going... Well, you know, I, if I'm playing as a detective in this game, I want to have a cool detective name. How about we go with... Uh, detect... Can't even spell... Detective. What? Oh, okay. Oh, so I just got into her first name. My bad. Oh, I wanted a cool title. Let's go with Sally. Yeah, Sally sounds pretty tough. Who are you? I'm Sally. Ooh. Number zero, lunatics. Oh, man. Whoever's typing is really fast. <clears throat> Kanto government, special administrative region, 24 wards. In accordance with the increasing population, it has been segmentalized into five areas. Uh, sorry, guys. I suck at reading. I do want to give you the heads up. Among the inhabitants... Selected by public vote, 80% are poor and 20% are wealthy. Okay, well, you know, that's 
a big difference right there between the poor and the wealthy. Uh, creating a rift in the economic strata. The most outstanding source of conflict among the classes is caused not by the difference in income, but by the discord between those with easy access to information and those without. Ooh. The number of crimes have skyrocketed and related information is pro uh, propagated using news shows and communication intelligence networks as media. A population of 100,000 people. Mayor Hachisuka enters his fifth term of office. Ooh, okay. The Metropolitan Police Department's heinous crime unit is an organization that immediately eradicates transmittable crimes. It is a group of experts coordinated by Chief Special Agent Shinji Kotobuki, an investigator who made a name for himself with the Silver Case. Ooh, title of the game, guys! Silver Case, head and former regional special agent, also known as the man who arrested Kamui, if I said his name. 24 Area 2nd Heinous Crimes Division Special Agent Tetsugoro Kusabi was on his way home. Tetsugoro Kusabi, age 44. <clears throat> it happened one night in the dead of winter. All right, let's get this started. The bank! Not right there, there's the bank. I assume that's a map. Okay. So again, this is a point-and-click adventure visual novel game, just to give you guys a heads up. Don't expect a lot of the, you know, action-packed things. This is more of storytelling in that we're just experiencing it and going through. <clears throat> what is this? A fucking lullaby? Fucking radio. Playing nothing but shit. I don't know, that sounds pretty good. What I'm listening to right now, that's that's pretty good. I don't know about you, man. Okay, so... Hmm. Was this road really that long? Or this long? You know, yeah, it does look pretty long. I don't even know where the heck you at. This already gives me foreshadowing as something's gonna pop up in front of him, of course. On nights like this, weird shit happens. No shit, man! <laughs> That's just the way it is. Okay, so you predicted that. That's cool. Alright, riding down the road. Woo! Yeah, so exciting. I like the music, though. Like, how it's starting out. What? Detective Kusabi. I got a bad feeling. It's my detective instinct. A real bad... <laughs> Yeah, a real bad feeling. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, ho, ho! Hey! <laughs> what you doing with that head there, buddy? Wow, that's pretty kind of, that's kind of gory. The art style looks amazing, by the way, guys. Man, he's having one hard stare down. Oh, okay, now his eyes open up like, yeah, that's a freaking head. Oh, he's got a gun! Wow. Yeah, you need to get the fuck out of there, man. He took a shot! That fucking punk! Yeah, uh, you need... Whoa, wait, what? Hey, is he disappearing? What the fuck? Is he a ghost? Dude, that that scenario right there was basically like a ghost story. You're, you're riding down the road and then some dude comes out of nowhere with a, a head in his hand and, and he just shoots at you? What the hell? Anyways, that punk is crazy. His ass is going down for sure. Wait, what? You gonna chase this guy? What's going on here? This is Kusabi. Anybody there? Respond! This is Hachisuka. Where's Sumio? Sumio, I have I said her name. Oh, his name. He left. 
Oh. I like how casual he sounds when he got shot at. He, I don't know how he dodged that bullet. That's amazing. Something happened. A man with a gun just fired shots and fled near the river in E District. Call in the closest units. Where to? He's heading west in E3. Uh, Electronic Entertainment Expo? <laughs> I would like to go to E3. Got it. We'll pinpoint him from the here. Have you been injured? Nope. I dodged the slug. Watch it. Watched it whiz right by. I'm surprised he actually dodged that. That was amazing. Huh? Nothing yet? Got it. Where? Is it within jurisdi uh, jurisdiction? Hold on. Public safety? Those covert op guys. Natsumi's guys, huh? Okay, call them in. Got it. Shit. He loves saying shit. I love it. Gives me a purpose to swear more. TGIF. My ass. <laughs> okay. I didn't know you know about TGIF. Ooh. Nice little 3D model of the gun being pointed at me. There you go. That's some music. Just rolling on. No pinpoint yet? Target pinpointed. Cauliflower. Wait, what? The private railroad satellite. Perfect place to lie low. I'm gonna rush to the spot. Well, you better. I mean, he shot at you. You're gonna get revenge, right? Send the location to Natsumi for me. Got it. I hope my girly voice sounds girly enough for you guys, by the way. Okay, what are we transitioning to? Oh, the moon! It's a full moon out. Alright. Yeah, it looks like this game has a lot of text. So, you know, I'll read it out for you guys if you guys don't want to read it. I'll try my best to be a narrator in this as well. <laughs> the first mayor of the 24 wards, Cairo Hachisuka launched the government's anti-conflict reforms. With the department with the Department of Communications and Department of Finance structured around the formal uh, former TRO and the Department of the of the Environment and Department of Invest Investment structured around the formal CCO, he fostered the sweeping organization uh, organizational reforms to success. That's a lot of fucking uh, departments doing sh a lot of random shit. <laughs> but the Department of Security with the Central Police Department's heinous crimes division, former TRO faction, and the Public Securities Department's secret security division. That's a long-ass fucking name to say. Former CCO faction was comprised of two separate factions. It's so complicated. The Public Safety Department, to complete with the heinous crimes division, established the Republic Special Forces Unit to handle secret security cases. Server case, head and former regional investigation unit, investigator Daigo Natsumi was offered the position of commander. Natsumi then scouted Sakamoto, Inoma Inomata, and Sally. Oh, Sally! <laughs> That's me! For the unit. For the Republic's first campaign, they ironically run into the heinous crimes division. As Natsumi and Kusabi's fates intertwine, the dark clouds of the silver case. Loom. A long night lies ahead for Daigo Natsumi. I like how they they have to show the uh, the map to indicate where they're going. This is a simple ass map, by the way. I guess Cauliflower is a location. I, what a name! Wow, what is he driving? Is that an SUV? Nope, not an SUV. I, sorry guys, I don't know my cars. I'm just saying a bunch of random car names out of nowhere. It's a van! This is a fucking mystery van? <laughs> Ooh, who's this guy? 
a jurisdiction detective is already en route to the scene. Oh, that's Cauliflower. Okay, they did mention it was like a satellite tower. What a name for a satellite tower, Cauliflower? Well, what are the other names of the satellite towers they have? Is it freaking Broccoli? Do they have something called, I don't know, uh, Bell Pepper Towers? Whatever, man. I'm just like naming random uh, vegetables right now. <laughs> the target is a Cauliflower and E3. Wow, this is a perfect place for the entertainment uh, uh, expo. Electr let's see. We're currently cl closest to the scene. We need to pre pretend we just happened upon the scene. What do you mean pretend? You just went to the scene. How do you fucking pretend? HQ confirmed the target and made the decision to get us involved. That means that this is a secret security authorized case. Keeping our movements under wraps is our top priority. But unfortunately, a jurisdiction detective happened upon the scene, making things a bit difficult. We need to keep the amount of info left out at a minimum. You may come into contact with the detective, but avoid any unnecessary contact at all costs. Oh, nice! Mystery machine! Sakamoto, okay, that's easy. Chief! What about contact in the range of level W or higher? Disposal will be no, be a problem. Keep it at level Y or below. Got it. Sorry, I'm. Uh, I'll try to make my voice different for these characters, but it's gonna be hard for me to memorize all these voices for them. I'll explain the plan simply. Save questions for afterward. Armament of level X or below has been approved. What you carry is up to you. I would love to carry a bazooka. Can I do that? Can I bring a bazooka to this uh, awesome, you know, location at Cauliflower? After entering Cauliflower in E3, lead the target to the Cauliflower roof. Proceed with disposal. So, can I bring a bazooka? Seriously. That is all. Any questions? Chief. How should we carry out disposal? Bazooka! I'll leave that up to you. Uh, okay, so we get our own choice of disposing them? That's awesome! What kind of crimes unit lets you, you know, they give you the option to say, hey, I'll leave it up to you? Alright, can I get uh, maybe a SWAT team to go with me as well? It seems like it's just gonna be me and Sally and this guy named Sakamoto that's going after him. I'll provide remote support. Oh, where did this guy come from? I mean, yeah, it's still pictures, I understand that, but where I didn't even know he was in the band. Mystery band. What if capture is possible? I believe I said that this was a secret security authorized case. Do you need me to explain further? Yeah, yeah, I kinda do. Oh, it, okay, I'll give him a different voice here. That will not be necessary! Anything else? That is all. <laughs> Just because this is your first real fight doesn't mean you need to be overly vigilant. He who masters his own smiles. He who masters his own smiles in the end. Stay relaxed till you reach the scene. Okay, nice quote. Nice gear too. Inomota. Can't you calm down? I'm about to lose my shit here. Man, they love using the word shit. I love it. Then force it back down, yeah. Force that shit back down, guys. I can't. My mind is cutting me off. If you can't force it down, at least control yourself. Alright. What? Well, sounds like he's got diarrhea if you can't force it down. You're gonna die. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared, too. To be honest. It's my first time in the flesh, you know? Sorry, but let me focus. I don't know who's talking, they don't give me names. This is totally different from training. Remember, Sally? <laughs> Our training maneuvers up north. It was the first time you shot real bullets, yeah. But that wasn't the first time for me. Back when I was in the Syndicate, 
Old school bullets. What's old school bullets? Like, aren't bullets bullets? What kind of bullets were you using? Were they magical bullets? Are you guys using magic bullets in this, uh, this crime unit? They gave them to me to take Subaka's head off. Of course, they were modded to the point that they might blow your goddamn hand off. Yeah, th that's why I'm like, what's going on with these bullets you're using? I've already thrown my life away, so I didn't care. <laughs> okay, badass. It's no matter what would have happened. I like how he's telling his life story about how he's going to use a gun that almost blew his hand off. Thinking about it now, being young, I should have been full of hope. Well, you're full of shit <laughs> right now. But it didn't matter then. Young, old, whatever. I got handed a piece and jumped in like a maniac. With a gun? I, I don't think I'd trust you with that, man. Just popping caps all over the place. Are you serious? Were you, like, shooting it even above you as well? Just swinging it widely? Uh, you know, like, just swinging your gun around and just shooting like crazy? I missed every shot. Well, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> all of a sudden, I was surrounded. Ten guns pointed right at me. That's when I first met the chief. Why did he choose... He told me to put my life in his hands, and he took me in. Same for you, too, right, Sally? <laughs> Picked up by the chief. Inomota. Uh, Inomata, too. Don't think about your own life. Believe in him. We'll carry out our lives. I don't know who's talking. They don't have a name. They just are showcasing. I guess the one that's talking has a highlighted rectangle. But I don't know who the hell that is. <laughs> We put our hope in him. Don't forget it. Unless he's a non-named NPC out of nowhere. That's right. I called it an NPC. <laughs> this is a visual novel, and I called him an NPC. <laughs> he's a... You ain't playing anybody. Alright, Cauliflower. Let's do this. Let's get cooking! Oh, throwing cooking terms! The music is wonderful though, I, I love it. They did a good job on the music at least, so that I don't have a hard time staring at what's going on at the screen right now. Kusabi. Where is Natsumi? That was so random though, like, you, some guy appeared randomly on the road and shot a bullet at that detective, that was just weird. Mystery Van, we're gonna solve mysteries for the Republic. We'll be arriving at Cauliflower E3 soon. <laughs> okay, Electronic Entertainment Expo, alright, let's do this guys. We're gonna hit up all the booths. We get all the all the booth loot and everything. I don't know if that's the term for it, booth loot. Maybe we'll get to play The Last of Us Part Two in the Cauliflower Tower. Yeah! We'll decide on formation after entry. I'll get instructions from HQ over the radio. You guys are basically like guinea pigs. Oh wow, he literally told him that. <laughs> Refrain from acting arbitrarily and prioritize the collection of sample data. Any questions? That is all. Okay, sync your watches. Sakamoto, count us down. So I guess Sakamoto is all the way to the left. Got it. Yeah, I wish they just show his portrait. That'd be way better. Him and that mustache. Urgh. Reminds me. His mustache kind of reminds me of Ron Swanson on Parks and Recreation. <laughs> he kind of does look like a little bit like Ron Swanson a little bit. <laughs> Got it. Count down to zero. Start the countdown in normal time. Don't forget. This is not an exercise. 
You need to remember that this is the real thing. Again, this is an actual fight. Come back alive. That is all. Good luck. Kusabi. Oh, look at him. So cool. Smoking a cigarette. Guinea pigs, huh? What way to win them over? These your soldiers? So, it was you. Oh, that's not Sumi talking. I forgot what voice I gave him. I heard you were back in the field. <clears throat> you too, right? Looks like one final gamble to me. I don't gamble. I'm in the self-defense unit. Uh, you know, I'll try to give Natsumi that, but there's a lot of characters in the voice there. What about you, Kasabi? I started that thing up. Because of the silver case. The heinous crimes you... Oh, it's uh, the other guy talking. The heinous crimes unit, huh? I thought you'd come too. I didn't think we'd meet up like this. I can never go back there again. I'm not as strong a man as you, Kus Kusabi. I guess so. <laughs> Smoking that cigarette like it's all badass. But you guys are in like all this SWAT gear or whatever. It's not about that. It's because the old man could use you. That strength. Being young and all. Just like your soldiers. I've also got young ones to take over. The next generation. There's still plenty of shit you gotta show them. You love saying that word. Shit's in his vocabulary like nothing. Kusabi? Natsumi. <laughs> Are they gonna kiss or what? <laughs> it's not just us anymore. Don't overwork yourself. We still got a long ways to go. That may be true. How's Sakura doing? She just turned 22. She'll be graduating college this year. They get so big. What? What's getting big? <laughs> How is she? She become a proper woman yet? Does she have big boobs? <laughs> she takes after my wife. Real stubborn. You know how she is. She's not a little girl anymore. Ooh, cool. That's a good thing. Even if she acts like she hates you. Oh, daddy issues, huh? That's always a part of things in the police dramas. Your daughter's still more precious than anything. Really? Chief, we're moving in. Okay. You know, I'm gonna give Natsumi a nerdy voice. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I know I gave him a normal voice, but we'll try to go with that. Sakamoto, go in first, then Inomata, and Sally. Got it. That's enough nostalgia for now. I'll back you guys up too. Thanks! It's basically a war zone. Alright, here we are, in the cauliflower. This is Natsumi, do you read me? Loud and clear, Inomata and Sally are both okay. I'll forge you the set points. Get on your respective points and get into formation. Got it. Yeah, so now I'm, I'm changing up their voices a little bit, guys, so uh, give it a little bit more character, <laughs> I guess. Sally, calm down. Wait for my orders. Stay in position. Inomata, do you read me? The obstacles in front of you create a blind spot. Make sure you get proper confirmation. Don't forget that the perp is armed. Or you'll get yourselves killed. I know! <laughs> I don't know, I just said something random like that. Or, I, I guess so. Stop fucking around, you idiot! <laughs> You're in the nucleus of the 24 Wards Private Railroad! Innocent citizens are gonna get killed if you start shooting like a maniac! 
Got it! Sakamoto, go in ahead. Relieve Sally. Yeah, you better relieve Sally. Got it! Sally, listen up. There's a plate up ahead of you. Check it out. Going up to the second floor, Chief. Wait, don't move yet. Got it! <laughs> okay, Sally, get moving. It'll take some time before you get used to the controls. And it'll seem complicated at first. But don't worry, you'll get used to it. What are we doing? It'll get easy quickly. When the menu opens, set the command ring to M and press the X button. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Is he telling me the controls? Man, he went out of character. Use the directional buttons to move. Okay. Gun. What am I doing? I... How do I move? Jeez! What a fake out! Okay, this game does a horrible job of telling you the controls already. So, apparently I had to move by holding L1 to bring me the movement system. Jeez. Okay, so... <laughs> wow, this is... Uh, I, gotta, I always gotta turn and move up. Sakamoto! Can you pinpoint the utility point? Calculating now... Inomata, send your movements over this way. Got it! Floating now. It's finished. Got it. <laughs> Entering collaboration. I'll explain the commands. M is movement. This is how you move around. Well, I thought M was like for move, you know. For cow. Move. Use the directional buttons to move forward, backwards, left, and right. Hold the X button to move quickly. Okay, I think... I wish you told me that earlier. Use it well. C is contact. Use this to touch stuff. Ooh, okay. When you see the sun symbol in the front of you, use C. I is implement. This is for tools. Why don't you just call it T for tools then? I'll let you work out where to use it. S is save. This is for records. You may save on any point. Oh, good. Try saving once. As I said earlier, it may seem complicated. You can do it, Sally! Whoa, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I believe in you! <laughs> it's your Nindo way! <laughs> Throw some Naruto reference. <laughs> that is all. Alright. Okay, I got it. What is this? Contact point. Okay, so... How do I do this? Um, C for contact? Oh, okay, the contact point is to my left. Sorry, I forgot something. During movement, you can press the triangle button to make direct contact. How did you leave that out? Try using it gradually. Sally, check out the plate. Make contact with the front of the plate. The plate is the north, is to the north. Yeah, no shit, guys. Just want to look around. Okay, there. Contact point. So, all right. So, let's see here. Make contact. No time. No time to screw around. Hurry up. Okay, well, I'm trying to make contact. Triangle, right? Sally! <clears throat> Sally, check out the plate. That's what I'm doing! Q. 
Can I uh, implement my gun? <laughs> okay, um, I'm trying to make contact, guys. What the fuck? Man, these controls, I tell you. Contact. Making contact. Oh, jeez. Man, those are like shortcuts. Uh, those M's and whatever. Sally, check out the plate. I'm trying to check out the plate! The stupid controls. No time. I am trying to figure out the buttons for this. It doesn't make sense. I'm pressing... Okay. C for contact. That's what's supposed to happen. I'm contacting. What? No. Get out of that. This game. Come on. Yeah, I get it. I'm trying to check out the stupid plate. Make contact with the front plate. That's what I'm trying to do. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Contact. Make contact. Why can't I not contact? Okay. Can I implement gun? I would like to put the gun at my head. Come on. Let me put the gun to my head. Oh my goodness. Yes, I know. I am trying to make contact with the stupid plate. Triangle for contact. I am literally pressing buttons like crazy. Checking out, yeah, I am checking the plate out. Oh, I have to look down? Okay, so I figured it out. When you go into the contact uh, option, this is so stupid. They don't even tell you this, but you can look up or down. So, right now, um, I have to change my movement. There we go. This game has some issues here. So you have to press R1 or R2 to move your head up and down like that. Ridiculous. They didn't even tell me that. So, now that I can see the plate, I'm in movement mode. I can finally go into contact mode. And then it will give me the option for control panel. That's ridiculous. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? Um, okay. I put A. What was that do? B? C? D. I don't know, it's giving me some kind of code. Like B, D, F, H? So, is that what the letters represent? G, okay. 
I'm going through each alphabet here, so let's uh, let's just go through it really quickly. Okay, <laughs> apparently I didn't get it, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, circle deletes it. Again, they don't give me tutorials. You just kind of have to figure it out what you're doing. Okay, so how about I exit and I need some help. Like, what? Can you tell me what I'm supposed to do on this thing? Hurry up. What do you mean, hurry? I don't know the fucking password. Sally, check out the plate. Shut the fuck up! Ugh, okay, so what am I supposed to be doing here? Yes, I know. You know, you guys didn't even teach me anything at this point. Oh! Did you? You forgot something important! You can move your field of view up and... No shit! I would, I would love to know about that earlier, you dumbass! Yeah, I'll be using it a lot. Yeah, that's great. Uh, are those arrows tutorial points? Oh, I gotta go back to that stupid control panel. I gotta go back to this again. Alright, I'm not sure what they want me to enter. So I put in a key and they give me a code out of it. This is probably the most confusing puzzle because they don't give you any hints of how you're supposed to go forward. Uh, can I say, uh, fuck? You know, uh... Cause I, I am definitely fucked. Definitely, definitely. Okay, where's my hint? Like, seriously. Move, maybe it's, no. C, cauliflower transmitter. Yeah, I'll make contact, but what am I supposed to do? I'm like pressing random buttons out of nowhere. This game. This freaking game. What's the hint, guys? What is the hint? And Omada, tell me something. No time to screw around. Tell me something that could use, could be a hint. Come on, man. Oh my God. Alright, well, <laughs> that, that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, the next episode, maybe I'll figure out how to get past this stupid freaking control panel. Other than that, uh, thanks a lot for watching the first part, and we'll see you in the next part, guys. <laughs>